through a lot of things today, and I thought our guys competed and, and gave us a, a chance to win this game with great effort, and we finally made some shots. We couldn't score 24 hours earlier, and now we scored 130 points. Um, and I probably would, you would have never had me think that we can have three 20-point scorers and one of them not be Brad. Uh, just the ball movement. I thought Brad, they, they're gonna, they put a lot of pressure on Brad, a lot of heat, a lot of to trap them every time he touched the ball. But I thought this was one of his best all-around games. He got a lot of guys, a lot of uh, good shots. And if they weren't shots, they were easy drives for that guy to make and pass to another guy for a great shot to hockey assist. So that being said, uh, we just got we got to scramble. We have to play that like scramble basketball, multiple effort basketball, and um, every night. And if we do that, we give our chance to uh, give ourselves a chance to win. The hockey assist, sorry, the hockey assist you mentioned obviously the last year with Dev John and that's kind of things went. Is that ultimately what's going to happen? How do you guys have success? Yeah, we had you know we had 35 assists on 48 buckets, and we're going to need everybody. John is. Without me saying it, you guys know it, he's an elite talent. Scorer, playmaker, we don't have him. So we need everybody to step up and, 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 and step into to a role that they're going to enjoy because they're going to play more minutes. Um, and they're going to get opportunities. Tonight, Troy, he got opportunities. And I thought he played well. I give uh, Coach Christian and their staff a go-go credit. They um, worked with them a lot and came in and, and played like he's been with us for a month and so that's great. Hopefully he can, can build on this and and make three out of four every night. Thomas Bryant had another really good game, double-double. Uh, what impresses you most about him? Uh, his energy, his love for the game and his love to get better. He just has this desire to I want to improve every day. And, you have guys like that in your program, guys that are hungry and not satisfied and not content, it helps. And he, he, he is. Gets after it. Have you been surprised by any of the, you know, like the stats and performance that he's provided to the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been surprised. I didn't know, actually, to be quite honest, I didn't know nothing about him. He didn't play last year, but a few minutes here and there with the Lakers. Uh, Ernie and our staff found him. And our development guys has developed him. Now he's, he's playing good minutes, starting. And he probably wouldn't have said he would be a starter, you know, if you asked him, you know, a month ago, two months ago. But he's earned he's earned these minutes, and uh, he's not always going to get 35. But if he's if he's given them, he's going to be ready, and some of the matchups are going to be uh, it's going to be predicated on that, but I thought he's, his energy and his effort and his enthusiasm, you can see it every time down court. Everybody cheers for him. Our crowd cheers for him. Our staff cheers for him. His teammates cheer for him. That's what you want. You want to celebrate your teammates. Played a shorter rotation tonight than usual, obviously. Yeah. A lot of injuries, but you haven't tried to do a land rotation after that season. Is that something you'd like to sit Nah, I mean, sometimes more minutes with less guys is better than less minutes with more guys. I mean, you can't do that uh, every every night because it is, you know, some a long season. But, you know, everybody has to be ready and, and stay ready. And hopefully we get some good news on Otto after a day of practice and maybe another workout and a shoot around and get some good news on, on Keith and we can be somewhat a little more whole other than we have been in the last few games. When, when, when coming out here, you said that he had a green light. Um, it's been three weeks today. He does seem to um, stay out there a lot. Do you like that? I love it. I love it. I, he, needs to, he needs to continue to shoot. Ten, he should shoot ten threes every night. If he doesn't, he should stay after and, and make up for it um, after the game and, and run suicides and our sprints and shoot more. He needs to shoot. We, we need his shooting. We need his his toughness, we need his uh, professionalism, we need everything that he brings, and he's done a great job. He hasn't made uh, uh, the threes that he's going to make, and but he's you know he's taking them, and he's he's, a, he's solid, and and ten threes should be every night for him. Saturday, he probably didn't have his best game last night, but it's, 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 it's,
side stepped up there. Yeah. Like, what did you like his conference? Yeah, he struggled last night. Um, but he, he bounced back. That's what I like about him. He, he cares. He wants to. He wants to, to do right. He wants these. He felt that you know he's a big part of our, our loss last night, like we all do. And how you get how you get over it is come back the next night and play better. And it's never he can never play harder. I mean, he maxes that out all the time. So he's played better. He's, he made his reads and he stepped up and shot the ball. And that's what frustrates me about him when he doesn't when he passes up three. He's a good three point shooter. And does he need his feet set? Yeah, but he's six seven. He can shoot over smaller guards. What are your conversations like with Brad late in the game when uh, he's like trying to get in Kemba's face, like for nine kind of feet if he can, and Kemba's just hitting those shots? Yeah, I mean, great players step up on both ends, and Brad is a great player. He wanted the challenge of stepping up and guarding their best players, and that guy is clutch. He makes tough shots, and he's made. He probably made. I don't know, out of his six, three of them were like almost impossible threes. Obviously the one that Jeff fouled him on, maybe even four of them. But that's what good players do. You want to step up and guard the best players. And Brad has the ability to guard the, the wing players. Now we have, you know, we have Trevor Ann and Brad. We can switch up on, on some of their best players. But they're hard to guard. Great players are hard to guard. They make tough shots, and both guys can make tough shots. From a schematic standpoint, how much do you have to change now, knowing that you're not going to have uh, John, and with the other players that you said will now get time, you know, to go along with what yeah. you have on the floor? Well, there's definitely some changes. With, with Thomas and Chason and Troy and and Ron, and maybe take some of those minutes. They can't do what John does. Uh, but they can be effective on, on how they do. I want I want them to be stars in what they bring to the team. And and Thomas did that tonight. Troy did that tonight. Chason did that tonight. And that's what they have to continue to do. I, they have they have confidence in me. I believe in everything they do out there because they work hard at it. And I see it. And I always believe that if you work on it and you and you you deserve some success. And that's what I like about guys. You know they work. They're not they're not they're not just happy to be here. They don't want to just collect the check. They want to earn it, and they want to play, and they don't want to be just satisfied in, in being on the team. They want to contribute and, and be a part of winning teams. That's the that's the next step for him. I mean, he shoots at a great percentage, but I like him. He's going to have to, and he's going to get opportunities to shoot, you know, four to six, seven a game. So why not?